It's me, Mikey Pipes. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Heading over to a service call in Franklin Square where we started yesterday for the emergency no heat call. And I noticed uh, pinhole leaks in the domestic um, hot water line leaving the water heater. So we're going to go there and rip, rip that out and, uh, you know, make make the, uh, the house safe and, and leak free. Don't forget, guys, to make sure you smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. Subscribe. There's no cost to obligation. And when I promise you, I promise you that when we have 50,000 subscribers, there is going to be the most epic pool party in YouTube history. Compliments of Mikey Pipes. Make no mistake about it. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you share and make sure you smash that thumbs up button like you're smashing potatoes to make mashed potatoes on Thanksgiving. You do it now. And yes, I know I'm psychotic. That's why you love me and I love you. And we're one big happy family. Let's go. All right, I am at my second service call today. We're back at the job where I was yesterday. This is the job that had no heat. So it's nice and warm in here, which is a good thing. And I'm here to replace that copper, three quarter copper with all those pinhole leaks. Now, where is the light for this switch for this thing? There it is. All right. Well, at least it's in a, at least it's in a box. So we want to keep this nipple as long as it's good. And we're going to replace from, from here across to here. I may, nah, nah, we'll figure this out. That's off, we're draining down a little bit of water. I got everything I need right here. I guess I could open and close the valve with that. <laughs> got the deburring tool, Milwaukee M18 press machine. Milwaukee M12 automatic tubing cutter. I got a 14 inch pipe wrench. So, uh, three quarter press fittings. And I'm gonna take out another gallon or two out of this and then it's gonna cut here. And then cut in a couple of locations and I'll probably, I don't know if I put a 45 on there to here. And then another 45 and maybe, I don't know, we'll figure it out. I want to make, eliminate a lot of these turns if possible. Like, why, you know, why they do that? All right, let's get going. Take a peek of this on the inside. Well, I could tell right away that this is not L, only because of the way it drops. It's got that hollow sound. Didn't look inside that piping. That is gross. See? All that stuff. Let's take a look inside the remaining. And we'll see. So this pipe is fine. Wish that the, that section wasn't. Okay. This is all superficial. This originated from a leak there. But 
Okay, clean. Not clean. water filtration so I'm gonna show her this but I don't want her finger to get cut right. okay. let's talk to her about whole house water filtration can I um, show you something here yeah. and if you were living here yeah. there'd be more of a concern but nonetheless I want you to I want you to see for yourself what? carefully put your pinky in there right. carefully and just try to rub the inside of the pipe okay now take your finger out yeah now what is that that is iron and what, what is, where is that in the water? That, that's in the water that's coming in from the public water supply the street and it's coating all of the inside pipes mm, and the right. fixtures and the toilet where's the nearest toilet right here i want to show you something if I take this lid off, yeah. you know, this is a white, this is a white porcelain toilet, right? So it yeah. should be white it's on the old, inside. But yes. And it is fairly, fairly white, but you have some sediment in the bottom there. You, you may want to consider just for your, I guess, the, healthy the health of the, you know, it, it, listen, no one really drinks the water, but you're still bathing in it, you're still washing your clothes in it, you're still, you know, it's, take it's, a shower in it. Yeah. It take goes a sh in your pores too. Yeah. But you may want to consider a whole house water filter. All right, and how do they do that? So on the water main, which is in this room over here. Where's that switch? So on that, water, that main water piping over there, we cut the pipe, yeah. and then we put a filter on the wall here, and it has a cartridge. And once a year, you know, the cartridge gets replaced. Oh, okay. So we cut the pipe, put the cartridge, put the this, this system on the wall, we pipe it in with some valves, and now all the house water is, is filtered from that stuff. Can you shut the water off, the outside water off from here? What do you mean, the hose faucet? Yeah, is that it? That may be it. Yeah, I think that's it. That goes outside, yeah, to the side. Oh, good. I was thinking about that. Yeah, I'll put a valve tag on that. Just make sure it's, you should open up the valve, the valve outside. Let it drain out. Oh, Here you okay. I mean, I mean, it's important. Right? Yes, absolutely. So I think I'll, I'll do it. I'm going to do that eventually. Okay. Just let us know when you're ready. Because well, you know, we, 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 yeah, we stock a couple, you know, we stock one on each truck, but if you want to do both, you know, we'll just have to uh, bring, come with two. We, we keep the parts on, on the trucks, the filter system. How long take? Uh, about an hour. Oh, right. That's not terrible. I'm going to get a brush and clean this off because. I wonder if the city water is like that. Uh, New York City? No, not as, not as bad. It's, it's actually much better. You can actually drink that water. I, don't, I know. I know. <laughs> but you know what? Our water used to be Jamaica water. Yes. So it's not really like the, the same water Manhattan has good water. Yes, they do. All right, I have to get a brush for this.
All right, three quarter press by female adapter, three quarter press 45, another three quarter press 45, and another three quarter press 45. So now I've eliminated one, two, three, four, five, six, six nineties that was there. Worked out perfectly. Just gonna put a pipe strap right here and we're good to go. Slowly turn the water back on. that run until it's clear. I was able to salvage salvage that nipple coming out of the water heater. You notice I used the Viega, it's brass. So now I have double dielectric action going. With the dielectric nipple, there's a brass, and that's copper. And I deburred the pipe. The old sweat female adapter you see i was here yesterday there's the heat she's working all right let's clean up you have any questions um probably have a lot i'll think yeah you may want to consider this and maybe ask your your um the homeowner's insurance agent especially since with the with the water loss you had Maybe consider an automatic uh, water shutoff valve that senses a leak. Oh yeah, they just ripped all these moldings off again. Yeah. The flood here was nine thousand dollars yeah. two months ago. They threw paper towels in the toilet. Crazy. And I. But you may want to consider that they're not that expensive, and you may also qualify for a discount on your insurance, uh, on your homeowner's insurance here. Something to really consider. It's not that expensive, so and you and you and as an app on your phone where you can monitor usage and it'll alert you if something goes wrong. And again, just add a piece of money because you had two water losses here. Is that a backup or is that a so leak? So the, yeah, there's, also a sensor, there's, also, there's also a sensor. So if it senses a, a, a water where it's backing up, it'll, yeah. it'll alert you. Like in the bathroom, it all came up. Yeah, through the toilet. The bathroom, it was all over. Correct, the all the wastewater. And now it smells funny again. Yeah, yeah. But he took all, he tested everything. Yeah, but, but something to consider, you know, because it's a small so piece of mind. Okay. It's a it's it's a valve that's installed on the water meter on the water main in that closet over there, and it senses leaks. And if it senses a leak, it turns off, so it stops. Okay, the water will shut off. Yes, automatically. Yeah. Now, but well, what about the backup? That helps. So too. that helps because we could put a sensor in the. No, but they won't be able to use any. Correct, because we, put a, we could put a sensor right near that, behind the toilet, for example, and if it senses water there, it's going to turn off the water. If it turns off the water, they can't keep flushing toilets using showers, tubs, things like that. And, and then you'll and then you'll get alert to your phone as long as there's Wi-Fi in the house. Is there Wi-Fi in the house? I don't know. I yeah. Think. So you'll get an alert to your phone, and you'll be able to you know take See, corrective I don't action. They have a Wi-Fi here, but they probably they probably do. do. Yeah. But it's any Wi-Fi. Correct. They'll pick it up even yes. if it's a. Uh, a secure one? Yes, you type in the password. Type in the password. Yeah, yeah, but it's good. It's a good for peace of mind. Yeah, because I know that she has Wi-Fi. Yeah. Definitely. You I know, mean, especially I with unknown pinhole leaks that we may have here. You know, yeah. I, I, again, no one's in this basement, and you're you wouldn't know until it's too late. You know, like when the basement comes, comes to a swimming pool. The girl in the back, yeah. my friend, she comes here every morning. Oh, okay, good. She checks the good. toilet. Very nice. Go in the back. Yeah. In room. Make sure. Over there by the yep. Hole. Well, that's good that you have someone. I didn't know you had someone checking in every day, but it's a good thing. But something really considering. Talk to your the insurance agent and see if yeah. if you get if you can get a discount. You know what they did to us? What's that? There's they dropped you. No, there's a water exclusion on this house. Oh. So they will pay for 
for a certain number of years. They won't pay for any water. <laughs> And maybe time for a better we pay we have to pay yeah maybe it's time for a better insurance agent well actually um it is a new i think it is a new company okay but somebody said the broker said it follows you for a certain number of years yeah yeah something like that all right okay <laughs> no you can't and ever win three, and you know we used to I know. You got three. <laughs> I know. All right. So adding value to the service call, an edu like Sims, the department store that is no longer in business, uh, an educated consumer is my best customer. So we spoke about, and I gave her, listen, I gave her a hands-on with that, uh, the copper water line that we cut out, and I showed her, you know, <laughs> Literally put the cocky on her finger. <laughs> Showed her that, it, listen, maybe consider uh, a whole house water filter. Now, what kind of sucks is that there's three prop three houses on those properties. And you're going to need two whole house water filters to really, uh, thaw, you know, to clean up everything. But, you know, we made her aware we, by educating, education, educating her. Uh, and then, at, right before we leave, we give her more information. And that is something else that she didn't know about was, hey, listen, you already had two water claims or two water losses. It's time for a an automatic um, shutoff valve. You know, it'll sense the water loss or abnormal water, water usage. And it turns down the water and it gives you a notification. You know? And regarding the backup, because she said they were flushing uh, paper towels down the... the um, down the, the drain, you know, if we put a, a sensor in the in the house trap pit, so if we ever get, you know, water there, it's gonna turn off the water and, and stop the backup because nothing else could be flushed down the toilet or showers, sinks, drains, whatever. And we also could put one in that basement bathroom, which is, you know, the lowest uh, point of the DWV system, the drainage, well, drainage waste and venting system. So again, food for thought, show them value. I've been to this customer a period of five times in 12 and a half years, five times. And she continues to call as there's you know a need where a professional needs to be called in. I don't think she's calling me for you know all of her plumbing and heating issues. I think maybe she relies on somebody else, but yesterday was a perfect example where it's a Sunday, uh, Thanksgiving weekend, and she called, help, help me Mikey Pipes. I have, my tenants have no heat. And we took care of her as yesterday's video shows. All right, guys, that's it for now. I'm heading over to another service call. Maybe I'll make that, it's a, compu, a compilation of a couple service calls, but it'll probably just be this one. All right, guys, be well, God bless, stay safe.